Okay. Hi everyone and welcome to my collection. So I've loved Pokemon since I was five years old when my dad actually brought home from China um, those little, what are they, the mystery Pokemon balls that you open up and you get like kind of like a really cheap but shiny um, version of a Pokemon. And I don't mean shiny like shiny color palette swap. I mean like they had like crinkly like shiny stuff like this. This is my cat's toy. It was totally like this. I'll put up a picture on the screen. But ever since that, um, I've been absolutely obsessed. It's my dad's fault. My dad's gotten me into mostly everything that I love. But I kind of thank him for this because Pokemon is really awesome. It's always brought me a lot of joy. I've always had it to go back to as I was growing up. Going through stuff, just knowing that I could always go home to a Pokemon game, um, go play Pokemon Showdown online with friends, trade cards with my neighbor, even though he totally scammed me by trading me like some like janky version of um, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for like my best Pokemon cards that are probably now worth like thousands of dollars because the popular YouTubers are getting into Pokemon cards now, but. Aston Martin. I tried to lock them out, but the second I locked them out of my room, they started crying at the door. So we're not doing that here. All right, so let's get into my collection. Aston can, yes, this is my uh, shiny bangle. Thank you very much. He is very realistic looking. Uh, okay, Aston move. So this Lapras Poke Doll I got off of eBay um, from a seller who sells a lot of Poke Dolls, um, Nintendo merchandise and all of that. Um, this is a re-release. This is not the original release. Um, the originals go for a lot of money on the internet and I'm not rich enough for that, but I wanted to get a Lapras because it's been my favorite since Gen 1 forever and ever. And it's just, honestly, the Poke Doll version is unbeatable with how cute it is. Next up, we have my two favorite evolutions. Obviously, the very feminine, girly one. Loved it the second I saw it. The actual spokesperson for fairy types. I love fairy types. I love pink. I love cutesy stuff. And then, obviously, our OG Vaporeon. I got both of these, actually, when I was studying abroad in Japan. So these are officially from the Tokyo Center Mega Pokemon Center. And um, they re-released the whole evolution. It was like a little event for the evolutions. They had like models, they had like little gotchas and all that stuff for the evolutions. And I picked up these two. Here we have the two Pokemon, Rockruff and Alolan Vulpix, that I literally traveled all over Japan looking for. Um, these were sold out at the Sunshine Center Mall, the Mega Tokyo Pokemon Center, um, the Goya's Pokemon Center, freaking. Where else did I go? Kyoto's Pokemon Center? Everywhere. You want to know where I found these? I found these in the airport. Yes, I found these in the airport. I went all over um, California. California doesn't have Pokemon Centers. I went all over um, Japan. I went to about seven Pokemon Centers total before I could find these guys. And now they're available on the website for um, um, PokemonCenter.com for the US, but I officially have, of course, the Japanese versions, and I am very happy to have them. Um, Alolan Vulpix, automatic fave the second it was shown up. Like, the fact that Vulpix could get any better than Vulpix already was is awesome, and we always love pups. Next up, we got our legendary cat dogs. I got my Entei, um, probably like six years ago or something, before I even got into collecting Poke Dolls. Um, he has no tag. He just has a tush tag on. Got him from eBay for probably about like 40 bucks or something. I do really love him. But my true love, which we all might know if we watched my first video, but only like 25 people watched it. So you probably don't. Um, is Raikou. And I, I'm just obsessed with Raikou. I love saber tooth tigers. I love cats, as you can see by my million cats that walk by because I'm a crazy cat lady. But I got this one from one of my favorite sellers. He um, actually gave me a gift, I think, of a Raikou card with it because he knew how much I liked Raikou. Um, it's not in the best state or anything. Um, it's kind of ripped up a little bit. Um, but in general, like, I'm just glad I could get one with a tag. I think that's really cool. I don't have any Suicunes because I honestly think he's a little overrated. He's also very expensive and it's just 
not my favorite dog. I'll probably eventually get a Suicune just to complete my little collection, but right now it's Raikou and Entei. Here we have a little Fletchling. I just think it's one of the cutest birds ever. I thought the Pokey doll was just absolutely adorable of him. He's just like pocket size, like perfect to carry around. And then I have Manaphy, which I honestly didn't care about this mythical very much until I watched um, the Manaphy movie of May and like I had like mini baby fever for Manaphy. So I picked this up from the regular PokemonCenter.com. So this is just an American version. So is Fletching. We have Rotom and we have Score Bunny. Score Bunny is my favorite Galar starter. I just think he is absolutely adorable and honestly I think he's absolutely adorable. I think Grokey is overrated and I think our little bunny pal is just the cutest. I got him for the regular Pokemon Center and I love their new um, tags for the Poke Dolls. Rotom I actually picked up in Japan so I have the Japanese Pokemon Center tag for him. Um, I have always adored Rotom. I'm really big on ghost type Pokemon and I just think it's absolutely bonkers and silly <laughs> that he loves appliances so much. Like of all things, like this is the most domestic Pokemon ever, just wants to be an appliance. So that's my road. Here we got two more of my favorite mythicals from the regular PokemonCenter.com. Jirachi Wishmaker is a prime movie, a great movie. Jirachi is a troublemaker. I've always loved Jirachi. I count, um, I collect a lot of Jirachi stuff and Mew because we love our OG mythical. We have a 10th anniversary Pikachu that I picked up on eBay and from the same seller I picked up our Vanillite. Um, I think this line of Pokemon is really underrated. People love to just throw out like, oh, it's just an object as a Pokemon. It sucks. They're not creative. Well, what is Magnemite? <laughs> what is Volt Orb? Literally a Pokeball, okay? So we've been having this throughout the entire Pokemon, throughout the entire lifespan of Pokemon. So why can't we love an adorable, little, harmless ice cream cone? Okay, thanks. Also, <laughs> I just got this one because he's fat and it's really damn cute. Like, this Pikachu's prime. Prime. This is prime Pikachu. Prime Pikachu. Con prime Pikachu content. Finally, I have a Keldeo. I actually got, um, I don't like this Pokemon that much. It's very, um, My Little Pony esque. And don't get me wrong, My Little Pony's very cool. I like the art style, but this Pokemon, like, kind of overdoes it a little bit. Um, I actually got him on eBay when he came with the full size and the Poke Doll size for like a really great price. So I just decided to pick it up because I had a little bit of extra money to spend. Um, it's a pretty cool Poke Doll, but it's not my favorite Pokemon. Now that we got through the Poke Dolls, I want to get through some miscellaneous Pokemon plush. Here are Katori, Katori, Stacking Plush. I wanted all of the Evolutions, but they sold out so quick. I only got my hands on Vaporeon and Jolteon, and I love them so much. I've actually traveled far distances with this Vaporeon just in my bag or something, just kind of as a comfort item when I was going through rough parts of my life. Um, Jolteon, because I wanted the Evolution collection, and I mean, Cyndaquil is freaking adorable. Look at him sleeping. Here we have some grass type starters that I grabbed from the Pokemon Center in Japan. I really, really adore this line. Um, it's available on the normal Pokemon Center now. I, I obviously have the Japanese version, but they're plush, they're soft, they have beans in them, which makes them like be able to sit nicely. It's just an adorable take on the classic Poke Doll style Pokemon look. And a very classic Chikorita was one of the first things I picked up when I studied abroad in Japan. Here I have another Jirachi. This is a balanced doll. I picked this up in Japan, so it has all the Japanese a tag and everything. Um, I think I got this one at the Kyoto Pokemon Center just because I thought, why not grab a bit extra Jirachi stuff? Um, here is one of my other favorite starters. This is my little Poplio keychain. I actually have a picture of me holding up this Poplio to a sign of Poplio right outside of the Pokemon Center. It's very cool. It's part of their collection of um, kind of the marshmallow type plush. So he's very soft, very squishy. Um, one of my favorite additions to my collection have another one of my Laprises. This is the pastel collection. Um, I got this guy at LA Comic Con last year. Uh, just 
went to someone that was reselling a lot of Japanese stuff, was feeling kind of like reminiscent, nostalgic about Japan, and decided to pick up a pastel collection because it's very me. I love pastel and I love Pokemon. Two of my sitting cuties of my favorite from the first gen. I am a big Magnemite stan and can you not tell me that this is the most adorable Chansey plush you've ever seen in your life? Look at her! She will protect your egg. Oh my gosh. So yeah, these um, are my only two sitting cuties. I wish I collected a lot more. I kind of want um, a Houndoom version. I want the sitting Raikou. Um, I can't wait till they have Diagla sitting. Like, whoever thought they would want a sitting Diagla? I've always thought that, but I know like that's not been something that anyone ever thought they would see. So I'm really excited about that. Here are my only two Tomy Pokemon that I picked up at GameStop. Um, GameStop sometimes does these deals that they just like have random plush or random things they haven't been selling for like 50 to 70% off. So I actually grabbed these guys, I think for like, I don't know, like four bucks a piece. Um, two of my favorite Pokemon. I've had my Tyrant for probably four years now. Uh, I got him like really right when the game came out and I got Sandy Gast last year. Here are my two 2019 collection um, Pokemon Center Halloween outfits. Um, love Drifloom and I love Zubat. Zubat plushes are literally what I'm looking into getting right now. So seeing the little Drifloom dressed up as Zubat was just too precious to let pass. Um, and obviously I love the Eevees and the Eeveelutions and come on, we're getting back into the Drifloom line with Eevee. It's adorable. I have a bootleg Pokemon Plus from an ex-boyfriend. Um, I completely appreciate it no matter what, um, but you can kind of tell by the tags how simplistic it is. Um, it's actually really good quality for a bootleg. Latios is my favorite of the two. It's still minky material, so honestly for the price he got it at, it's good quality and it's still in my collection. Here are my two Alola starters. I got these guys at GameStop on clearance for guess how much? $12 a piece. These are the full sized um, Pokemon Center uh, starter Pokemon. And I got them for a third of the price that they sell online. It's really, it is really great. I actually grabbed um, a few Greninjas with the set. I am actually not a Greninja stand, but I do have friends that are Greninja stand. So when I came stop and I saw these guys on sale, I actually picked up two Greninjas along with these two. And I gave them to two of my friends who are big Greninja stands. We have probably one of my prized possessions, the squishy Drifloom that I got from the Tokyo Mega Pokemon Center. Actually, I think I got him from Skytree. But either way, this is probably my prized possession. I, um, when I was in Japan before I started studying, I was with my family and I actually used him as a pillow. And because he's so big, my mom actually packed him in a separate suitcase to take him home for me. So I didn't have to bring him to campus when I started studying in Japan. Um, I know he goes for a lot online now because I think it was only available in Japan and he never came on to the actual Pokemon Center for the United States and for the world. And so I really do appreciate having such a cutie in my collection. Now I want to show you my customs and my obsession, which you can probably see sitting right behind me. So here's a melodic mass release custom. Um, it seems like it was Pokebox and a specific designer. It was made in 2016. They made quite a few of the melodics and the shiny melodics and I grabbed one just because I thought the style of this plush was adorable and it's really cool to be able to support creators and um, plush makers and artists and everything and I've always been a big fan of customs. So this is honestly a really cool one. Next up, I also have a mass-produced custom Drifloom Shiny, because Drifloom's one of my favorites. Um, I actually got the last one in stock, but I will link the artist below so you can check out their Etsy. They have absolutely amazing, high-quality plush. Really sweet. They left me a message and everything, like a little note. It's just really precious to be able to add a shiny version of one of my favorite Pokemon to my collection. Finally, we have my two most prized one-of-a-kind customs. So. This custom here was commissioned by me. I think he was about $250. I'm trying to remember. I actually got him commissioned probably five years ago or so. Um, 
Houndoom doesn't have a Poké doll. He doesn't. And I wanted one for myself, so I got a custom. And this artist, look at him. She made him so that he could either stand or he could sit. So depending on what I want, look at his little paw pads. I can have my Houndoom posed. Um, she showed me the process throughout the whole way. The quality is beautiful. He's a beanie. He sits nice. His head doesn't make him fall over. It's just a gorgeous custom all around. The quality is just above par. Like, honestly, I would recommend her to anyone, but unfortunately, I think she closed down. Well, I will link this custom creator. I um, actually got my custom with her through Pokemon Collectors um, Live Journal. I don't think she makes customs anymore. She has an Etsy shop too, but I think just all in all, she's kind of slowed down on that front or moved her um, skills elsewhere. And I haven't seen anything live in her shop in a while. Also from her, I picked up this one of a kind. What? Tell me this is not the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Um, Alolan Vulpix. I saw it on her shop. It was probably about 35 bucks. And I just, I had to grab it in a second. I've actually messed him up a little by dropping. Um, I used to actually have him sit like on the corner of my PC kind of overlooking, but I have crazy cats. So they just go and knock. And that's kind of how he got a little, a little mistake on his eyeball there. But like, look how just unique and adorable this little guy is go into my biggest obsession which I can't pronounce doesn't matter it's Diagla to me okay thank you thank you so in my Diagla collection large still tagged I think it's Jack specific Diagla um this guy I would say two feet on um, like honestly like high quality good material throughout just a gorgeous plush to have in your collection if you're a fan of Diagla I know there's a Palkia version too I don't think there's a Giratina but this was actually the first Diagla that I added to my collection. Up next are my Diagla standard size Poké Dolls. Um, I got this guy first, but unfortunately when my bangle was a kitten, he pulled a thread on the eye. I don't know if you can see that. Eye thread pulled and thus I went out and bought a better quality one. Still fits tag attached. I actually still have the tag hidden inside um, this little wrapper that the seller made to keep it um, in good condition when it was traveling to me. So now I just have two Diagla standards. Next up is my Jumbo Poké Doll Diagla. I mean, literally precious. The quality of this one, um, just because of how old it is, is not as good as my standards, but look at the size difference. How adorable is this deluxe Poké Doll? Final Diagla in the collection is from the Boss Collection. So this is from the Boss Collection. You got the Pikachus dressed up as bosses and then the bosses Pokemon. So this is the Diagla that you could get from that set. This is also a prize part of my collection. The quality is really nice. Um, he leans a bit forward. It's a bit dorky standing, but any Diagla that I can add to my collection, I love to add. So thank you so much. Ooh. For joining my plush collection tour i collect way more than just pokemon plush i have cards i have the finger puppets the pokemon kids you like subscribe comment you know the typical things i can stream um card openings if you want that i can stream playing pokemon you can watch me be horrible at showdown if we want to do that on twitch i don't know let me know what you want to see i'd love to keep sharing pokemon with you i'd love to show you my world of pokemon and why i love it so much so thank you so much if you took the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection, seeing a little bit of my room, seeing a little bit of my crazy cats. And I'll see you next time. Bye.